Okay, so in part one of the converting to a nitro RC car to electric, uh, I talked about some of the components I, w I would be wanting and like needing, and what I was going to do with the motor mount. So uh, I've gotten a little bit farther. Uh, first of all, I've got the X05 ESC and uh, the Titan 12 turn from my friend for uh, repairing his Rustler. So I got these basically for, I don't know, 30 bucks or something for repairing his Rustler. And so I changed my mind, XL5, because it's smaller. I didn't know about that. Well, I did. Um, it's going to fit right here. Okay. Back right on that slot. And I'm going to use some Velcro that I got at Joanna Fabric. It's industrial strength. It costs like 13 bucks or something. But I got like a 50% off coupon, so it's pretty cheap. And it, there's like four feet. Yeah, four feet. Uh, Velcro, uh, two inches thick, so that's like perfect, this thing is two inches thick, so I just, you know, cut it out. You know, that way I can always take it off to clean it and everything like that. The motor is also still going to mount there, except the, the mounting screws were a little bit small for what I was going to do. And what I was going to do is, you see this thing right here, that, that's the motor mount plate. And so this adds a little bit of thickness there, as you can see. So I needed something bigger, so I got another screw from my, like my Emacs box. And I decided not to shave off that, that piece right here. Instead, I was going to use it as a placeholder. And as you can see, if I just take this piece right here. Oops, wrong way. That holds it right there. That thing is flush to the ground. And then it has the motor mounting screw, and I just use drill. I can't mount it yet because I gotta, you know, do all the holes for the, for the, for the holes, you know, for the motor to fit through. So that's that. So I got that done. And I went with uh, Lexan, and that, and the thickness here. I'll show you. This is at Home Depot. You, I bought it at 0 0.093. And so this is just like the regular RC Lexan that they use for bodies and stuff. Found it at uh, Home Depot for, I think it was $3 for this pretty big square over here. Okay, and you can, I think there there was acrylic over there, but it was pretty thick. and It was like 53 bucks, and the thing was like three times the size. So I don't think you're going to need that. Okay, and so to show you how thick this is, because this thing doesn't flex too much, and you guys are all like, oh, RC bodies flex. This is, this is the, the Baja Blade body. Okay, this thing flexes a bunch. That's really thin. And then we have the hard drive body over here, which is made from uh, Proline, and that's, what is it, 0 0.040 thickness. And this thing, I didn't even use this on my body because I, I think it wouldn't flex enough and it would probably break something, so this is just like a show body I just used. See, barely flexes, and this is 0 0.093. So that's that's freaking brother. So this is this is more than stop. This is more than what is it like double thickness or something like that? Yeah. Okay. And now I'm going with this instead of the sheet metal like in my last video because as you can see from my Emacs, metal bends, especially RC Raven. You know, like soft skid plates. I just got them because they're green now, right? That's about it. Okay, and now since I got the motor mount, now I got this battery thing. See, so I cut that out for the little plugs that fit there. This thing is like, fits perfect for the battery. So that's just going to sit. Wait, hold on, let's make sure. That'll sit like right there. I'll shave some of that off so it fits inside this little, you see that little mark? Inside there. And the battery fits. Perfectly. Thing is, it's basically flat. You know, it doesn't jiggle back and forth. It only goes like this way. And then I'm gonna have a bit, little Velcro strap like this. I already put the rough side on. You know, and then it just latches from you know like there to there, and it keeps it from flipping over and stuff. Yeah, and then I'm gonna use Velcro to tie the receiver down, all that goody goody good stuff. And same with the this, you know, Velcro on the bottom, Velcro on the chassis, you know, Velcro, Velcro everywhere. 
And so yeah, I think that's just about it. So um, I'll give you a little bit more update once I've come a little further on. Right now I got basically got everything on. So um, hope that helps you. So yeah, Lexan again, Velcro, two best things for my conversion at least. That's about it. So thank you for watching.